Right now in the United States, black women are three to four times as likely to die during childbirth as their white counterparts. While attention to racial disparities and maternal health continues to grow, some say that awareness just isn't enough. Black women and members of the other communities that are marginalized in this country, they argue, need tools and they need resources to take action against this crisis. Well, one leading advocate working to empower black mothers and other birthing people this is my next guest. Her name is Latham Thomas. She is the founder of Mama Glow, a global maternal health platform. It provides both doula education and services. And this Saturday in Brooklyn, Mama Glow is going to be hosting the Doula Expo, the first ever festival they're going to have for birth workers, caregivers, and the brands designed to support them. Joining me now to tell us all about it and much more is the founder of Mama Glow and the Glow Foundation and a frequent guest to Black News tonight. Latham Thomas is always good to see you. Um, Let's talk about this idea, first of all, of the doula. It's a term that people are using more and more. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what a doula is and how uh, a doula is helping in this fight against black maternal uh, negative outcomes, black maternal bad health? Yes, so thank you so much, Mark, for having me. And um, yeah, so a doula is a non-clinical care provider who's offering emotional support, physical support, education, advocacy tools. If you have a partner, they're here to make sure that your partner is supported and educated in the process as well. But the key piece is advocacy. As we know, uh, you mentioned the horrifying mortality rates and morbidity rates that we see in this country. And having an advocate and someone who can help you exercise your voice, understand what informed consent looks like and how to navigate hospital systems that are not designed to support us is really critical. And so a doula is there to help support healthy birth outcomes, um, incredible bonding for families after the birth experience, and also to make sure that you can integrate right after. Because another issue in our country is that we don't have a a federal paid leave policy. So families don't really get to spend time uh, nurturing their babies before they have to go right back to work. And so a doula can also help families integrate on the postpartum side to make sure that we ensure things like uh, recovery, breastfeeding support, and things of that nature as well. Now, do doulas work alongside midwives or traditional doctors, or are, do they do the job solo? This is a really important distinction. And I'm glad you asked that question because doulas do not replace doctors who are clinicians. They do not replace midwives who work alongside. And so the work that we do is non-clinical in nature. So it's really about the emotional support that's necessary, that physical support that you need when you're really moving through a labor process. It's that education, all of those pieces in between. So it's like, you know, having someone who can really break down for you what your doctor may have said that was like a little too complicated, helping you to understand in layman's terms. Um, it's someone who can help you liaise with your physician and other care providers on the team to make sure everyone's on the same page. It's someone who will help you navigate what's called like a birth plan or birth preferences to really understand what the entire process may look like so that you can be prepared for it. So it's someone who's like a coach, who's like a a cheerleader, like a therapist in many ways for many families, but who kind of acts as that, um, that person that's just there to help you. So it's an important role that really actually has existed for a very long time, but has resurfaced as a way for us to uh, reclaim our power in the birth process and to feel supported in, um, in our village keeping ways that, you know, as, as black folks have always, always done, we've always been in community. It's a way for us to sort of embrace, um, community village keeping by bringing more black doulas and, and brown doulas into the fold. Absolutely. What are some of the tools and resources that you provide through Mama Glow and the Glow Foundation? Cause I know that that's super important, the work you're doing. Yeah, so um, a couple of things. Um, Primarily, our work is to educate doulas globally. So we have doulas from all corners of the U.S. and six continents, and those people are working to better birth outcomes. They're here to improve birth um, in the regions that they're in. Um, We're also here to support families, so people can come in that are looking for doulas if they need support, and we can help match them. Um, there is a, pro- um, I should say, a program that we have through the Mama Glow Foundation called Love Delivered uh, with Carol's daughter. And I think we talked about that once before, where um, through that program, we're able to actually match families that may not be able to afford doulas 
Um, they can match with a, with a doula and get that support pro bono. So we're able to provide that support through oh. a grant matching process. Um, so we're really grateful for that because it allows people who may not be able to otherwise afford or have access to the services. And I should also say that these, these services should be for everybody, right? This is not just for people of certain income levels. This is for everyone. So you should feel encouraged regardless of your income bracket to reach out to the local doulas in your area to see what services they provide and at what price brackets. And most people will do sliding scale. And there's also organizations that do community-based doula work where you can also find doulas pro bono. So nobody should go without birth support. Absolutely. Talk to me before you go about Doula Expo. I know it's this Saturday and people want to know how they can attend and, and what they can expect when they get there. Yeah, so I'm so excited about this because, as you know, we all been in the house for like 19 months. Um, I have a sister who had a baby <laughs> yes. in the time that we've been in the house. So um, the Doula Expo is um, a gathering for parents, for caregivers, for doulas. It, it was with doulas in mind to create a space where we could learn about processes, products, services, as well as other organizations that are doing the work to impact maternal health. So March of Dimes will be there and Stacey Stewart, who is the first and only black president of the March of Dimes, will be there um, talking as well as having convenings with doulas about how we can uh, pro provide better support for families and affect policy change. There'll be conversations. Um, there's a, there's a, a really amazing lounge that Kate Spade is doing called the Kate Spade Wellness Lounge, which is like a resting space because you know black women need our rest. Um, there is going to be uh, food provided. There is gonna be uh, entertainment, but mainly incredible conversations and keynotes. One of the amazing providers that I'm really excited about is called Earth. It's an app and it's like Yelp for birth. So when we're talking about affecting change and wow. having resources, this is a black woman named Kimberly Stills Allers who created this app. And basically it's for providers, for doulas, for families, but primarily for families who have had adverse birth experiences to upload their information so that people who have similar profiles can read up on these doctors and get information about which the best ones that are providing the best care. So she'll be speaking there as well. Wow. Um, Mommy, who is funded by uh, Serena Williams and Mark Cuban, will be there talking about the technology that she's built for better birth. So there's so many amazing Black women and Black female-led, as well as other organizations that will be there representing um, in the doula space and in the birth space in general. This is going to be amazing. Everybody, the Doula Expo by Mama Glow is going to take place this Saturday, October 30th. You can visit mamaglow.com backslash gatherings for more information. And again, we want to thank Latham for joining us once again.